guys. Welcome. Welcome to Behind the Scenes. This is Angela Wolf, and we are back in the studio today. Although, I kind of miss Florida. I came in the studio, and it's snowing, and I just looked outside, and there's like an inch of snow now. I guess I brought it with me, so... Oh, well. Hey, great to see you. And thank you so much for those of you guys joined me last week at the pool, although we did get a lot accomplished. And if you missed that episode, you can scroll ahead and you can find out where I talked about fitting jeans. And today at the end of the show, I'm going to show you how to fit a waistband. A few of you asked about the gapping waistband. I've shown this a ton of times, so I'll spend like just two minutes at the end showing you it again. So anyways, welcome. Pop in, say hi. I can see you guys all rolling in. I see a few questions too, so don't worry. I'll get to those at the end. But today I have a really fun show for you. First off, I have Katie here from Sewing Expo in Puyallup. First off, the, <laughs> this I am so excited to go to the show. So she said she would join me live, which I'm very excited about. Make sure I have all of this up here. So in case you've never been there, it's the Sewing and Stitchery Expo. I have a fashion show there Friday night. She has an awesome giveaway. We'll be bringing her up. And then I have something special for you, for those of you that love the good deals. Um, my friends at, oh, I just lost Katie, so I hope she's coming back. <laughs> okay, uh, sewingmachine.com. I have a fabulous deal for those of you that are looking for an embroidery cabinet. That will be here. I have it right behind me. And it's just for the fans here. As always, I only bring stuff in that I like and things that you might like too. And then at the end, I'll answer your questions. So that's the show. I'm Angela Wolf. This is Behind the Scenes. And if you've never been here before, say where you're from because we always love to see what you're working on. Also, many of you are new to the party and we say welcome. You're joining Sewing Friends from all over. So let me see if I, I think I got Katie back here. Hey guys, I see you all rolling in. <laughs> hey Melody, I cannot wait to see you next week. So uh, Melody, by the way, is... Uh, going to see me in, for those of you that are like looking for the events, I have most of them updated on the website. There's a few others that are coming. But um, anyways, Florida next week, next Thursday. I don't know if they, they were going to make capacity even if they filled up. So this is in Palm Beach next Thursday. That should be a fun day. So I know I'll see Melody there. If you're coming, be sure to say hi. All right. Hey, Barbara, welcome. It's your first time watching. So I see you guys all rolling in. I will come back and say hi in a second, but I want to get Katie up here before I lose her. Katie, come on up. And if Facebook does weird things, don't worry. You can always hit replay on the show. Share it to your page. You can watch it later. And then you could skip ahead to the things you want or skip behind if you miss something. All right. Let's bring on Katie. Hi, Katie. Uh oh! Oh, there you are. I don't know what's going on with the internet today. We 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 keep freezing. So sorry about that. Yeah. Welcome. That's okay. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So thank you so much. Okay, I met Katie a little while ago because I'm going to be obviously going to Puyallup, which I'm so excited about. So Katie, tell them a little bit about yourself. How did you end up here sure. in Puyallup? How did we? How did I end up here in Puyallup? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, a little bit about myself. I um, have a background in event management and have a love for all things um, consumers, sewing shows, um, working with the public. And so I'm here in Puyallup. I work for Washington State University and we put together the Sewing and Stitchery Expo. So I don't know if your friends online know much about our show, but it's actually the largest consumer showing, sewing show in the nation. That so is what I know. So, you know, I have heard that since I started working at sewing shows. I never even knew a sewing show existed because I was just in fashion design and I worked in my cave <laughs> designing clothes <laughs> for customers all over. But when I found out about the sewing world, everyone has said for many years, I can't believe you've never been to Puyallup. It's the biggest show ever. And yes. this year, yes. I'm coming because of you guys and Kai Sanders. We're Thank so excited. You. you know, this this year is our 35th anniversary. So we are thrilled to be having you come to Puyallup, Angela. Our attendees have always been asking for years, when is Angela coming to Washington? So we are thrilled that you're going to be coming to Washington. Thanks to Kai Scissors, of course, for helping with that. Um, so we're really looking forward to your visit. I'm very excited. So I brought up, I have, um, I see everybody rolling in. So by the way, you guys leave comments and say if you've ever been to Puyallup or if you plan on going because uh, Katie will answer any questions too, because there's it's such a yes. huge show. Uh, um, how many? 
just off the top of your head, how many vendors do you have there? I heard that you could sure. work forever. Oh, you could, yeah. Wear comfy shoes if you're coming, guys. Um, we have over 400 vendor booth spaces. Wow. So it's incredible. And something that sets us apart um, from some other shows and events across the country is we have a little bit of everything. So we have 400 vendor booth spaces and over 100 classes daily. Um, but what's great is we have garment sewing, we have handwork, we have things for cosplay, we have quilting, of course, can't forget our quilters, um, but we have a little bit of everything. Which is fantastic. And when I was yeah. going through the list, uh, for those of you that you guys don't know, I'm going to punch it up here when she's talking here in a minute for the website, because the classes right. just opened. Am I right? Right. It opened yesterday at SewExpo.com. You can find it. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I have that typed in here. SewExpo.com. I'm going to bring this up. Um, so there's different kinds of classes they can take. And I found this intriguing because right. you have hands-on classes, which are obviously limited in the amount of people. And then you have right. many different kinds that are different timing. Could you just give them a little rundown of what to expect when they're looking for these classes? Sure. So um, just off the bat, so the Sewing Century Expo is February 28th through March 3rd. So you have four full days of shopping and classes. Um, we have small hands-on classes for 12 people, and then we have large um, lecture demos up to a couple hundred people, and then we have huge evening events as well. So um, you might, let's see, so one of some of the popular classes. Um, we have great classes for kids. We have classes about what needle to use, what presser foot to use. We have some cosplay classes. Um, tatting, handwork, fiber arts, of course, our garment sewing, and um, several quilting classes as well. So there's a huge range for a beginner sewer um, all the way to a very advanced sewist. Um, even my two kids are taking classes this year, so I'm excited. You know, I love to hear that, that kids are going to be start. Well, I have a lot of kids. that There's kids that even watch this. There's a couple high schools that watch this show. To I mean, oh, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but... So I told my mom, no matter what she's interested, if it's quilting, embroidery that week, uh, she does. if she has garment sewing, she can come and see me anytime. But I told her there's so many things to do. And it's, it's a long show, yes. Thursday to Sunday. Right. We actually, um, Wednesday we open and we have long classes that day. But then the vendor floor and all the additional classes um, begin Thursday through Sunday. Um, we also have a couple charity events. So we have people... Um, sewing for charities for um, Rare Bear Army, and we also have kennel quilts. So we always have a charity component as well that people who, even if they can't come to Expo, can still be involved. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to bring this up here yeah. to show them. This is the brochure online that you can see, and my the most exciting part to me is Friday and Saturday Night Live. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes, um, our featured speaker, our Friday Night Live, Miss Angela Wolf. So we are thrilled. Those tickets are selling fast. Um, yes, I don't know if you want to touch on what you'll be doing Friday. Sure. On Friday night, I am so excited. I am bringing over 40, 40 garments. I actually have close to 60. I'm going to weed them out to make sure the fashion show doesn't last till midnight. But of course, that would be kind of a fun night out. So <laughs> there, there's going to be a VIP section where if you get a VIP ticket, and those are very limited. She, I think you just said they're almost sold out. So if you want one of those, you better get those quickly. Yours are sold out. Okay, so don't, don't miss those. That's before the fashion show where you hang out with me for an hour. You can go through the outfits and look at them close up. We can take photos, say hi, and um, just have some I don't know, fun time for an hour before the show gets crazy and then you get the best seats in the house. And then the fashion show opens to everybody else that had the ticket. And the this is not going to be just a runway show. I mean, it's a runway show, but I'm going to explain different techniques that I used in the garments. So you'll leave there not only inspired by all of the garments that I'm showing, but also inspired by different techniques. If it's embroidery, couture stitching, or whatever. Um, I think you're going to have a fun time. It's everything from jeans to a couture wedding gown at the end, of course. And I just lost Katie for a second, so she'll be right back. So that is what the fashion show is. And I don't know, um, I, I don't have the time on here. Let's see, I think, here it is. That's Friday night at 6.30. So the tickets aren't very expensive, 25 bucks. The VIP tickets are a little bit more expensive. And then when Katie comes back, Saturday night is Rob. 
So that should be a fun show too. I'm planning on attending that just for fun to watch. So the rest of the show, I will be in the Kai Scissors booth and I will be teaching a handful of classes. Some of them are hands-on, so those will fill up quickly because they're very limited seating. But there are so many classes there. Guys, I kind of wish I was going for a day and not, not teaching so I could uh, take some classes. I love that to see people. So Katie's back with us. So Katie, I just gave them the rundown on my show. So tell okay. them what to expect for Saturday night's show. Yeah. So Saturday night, we have a similar setup. We have great VIP tickets to Rob Appel of Man Sewing. So a lot of you guys have seen Rob online. He's a talented quilter. He's a sewist. He's a chef. He's a dad. He's a little bit of everything. And he's a lot of fun to watch and listen to. So he's going to have those limited number of VIP seats as well. And then a big Saturday night show on the stage. We'll be doing a trunk show showing, showing some of his um, best creations. So you can see all of that at SoExpo.com to get your tickets to Rob as well. That sounds good. I, I actually yeah. read that he's a surfer and I love to fish. So we probably get along great. <laughs> All right. So I'm on your site where they can scroll through here and they can choose the classes that they want. Yeah. Great descriptions, great photographs. I love the way you have this laid out. Very easy yeah. to find. You'll really know like how long the class is going to take to make sure you don't conflict. Do you have anything special that they should know? Um, I know a lot of people say, should I just buy one class or do you have special deals if they purchase more? What is, what, do you have anything that they should look for? Yeah, there's not, um, there aren't any discounts for additional classes, but there's a price range. So classes start at $6 all the way up to $50. So I would recommend taking at least one of each of the types of classes and there's four to okay. give you just kind of a range to start with. Um, and always plan, plan ahead. There's an order form in the back of that catalog which is a great way to map out so you don't double book your classes. Um, a great way to kind of shop before you go online to purchase your tickets. That sounds fantastic. Oh, I yeah. see Joe's head. <laughs> Joe's yeah. And of course, Angela, you Everybody have your class, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is wonderful. And I have the website listed up here if anybody great. has questions. So um, I know there's a, on your website, there's a ton of hotels for people to choose from for how to stay. You really make it easy for people. What is the best airport would you say to fly in for this show? I would fly into um, SeaTac Airport. So it's just south of Seattle. Awesome. Yep. And it's about a 30 minute drive to us. Very close. People um, are, I see that you've mentioned even that uh, they come from Australia, France and everywhere. That is fantastic. Yeah. Vendors as well. Vendors and teachers come from all over the nation and um, around the world. So it's amazing. That's fantastic. Well, I'm very yeah. excited about this. And thank you for coming on the show today. I will field thank some you. questions. You guys can ask questions all week if you if you um, tag Sewing Expo. <laughs> so so Expo it, in your how what is your Facebook? Is it so Expo? So Expo. Yeah. Okay, at So Expo. I'll put that in here again. Yep. Um, Perfect. If you tag them, if you have a specific question, she'll see this, and then Katie can come back and answer you. If I know the answer, no. I'll answer you. The show is February 28th, right? Correct. Yep, that's it through March 3rd. I can't believe that's not that's less than two months away almost. Well, it is. Oh, almost. really? <laughs> I can hardly wait. I have my flights. I've got my room. I We've got a lot of fun things planned for the Kai Scissors booth. We have a, we're going to do a Facebook meet and greet there, and then the fashion show on Friday, which is going to be fantastic. So, well, Wonderful. Katie, thank you. Anything else you want to share with right, everyone? Nope, I just want to say thank you, Angela. Um, Sewing the Citry Expo is so excited to welcome you to Puyallup. And if you guys have any other questions, check us out at SewExpo.com. That sounds wonderful. Well, thank Hi. you so much. And thank I'll see you. Bye, everybody. Talk soon. Okay, so that is going to be so much fun, you guys. I am very excited about that. This is a show that people have talked about for years, and I haven't had the opportunity. I've actually had other events that week, so it wasn't even an option. And this year, it ended up fine. So <laughs> I hope to see you there. I can see a ton of you say that you're going, and that's great. And also, we're going to have Facebook meet and greets and Kai Scissors booth. So I will let you know what the times are those of those are in case you're not, you can't attend a class or you're just coming to shop for the day, which is fun too. Wait a minute, Katie, if you're still watching, come back on. We forgot the most important part. How did we forget this? All right, Katie, if you're still watching, pop back in. I'll bring you back up here. We forgot the giveaway. 
she has such a great giveaway. So I'll save it for a few minutes in case she pops back in. Hopefully she's still listening. If not, I'll tell you what it is because it starts tomorrow, right? <laughs> oh gosh. All right. So I can't remember everything. So anyways, before she pops back in, I want to show you this new cabinet. You guys are always, we have such a diverse group of sewers and embroiderers and quilters and everything on our show. So when I see a good product and I use it, sometimes I'm an affiliate, sometimes I just promote it, sometimes it just depends. So my friend, Mel and Dana, my friends, I should say, Mel and Dana and their family uh, own uh, sewingmachines.com. And that is in, hold on, let me see. Or sewing machine, there's no S at the end, sewingmachine.com. It's in Atlanta. If you've never been to one of their events, they are just great people. They have a couple stores, huge, by the way. They're really big into the industrial sewing. So they, if, you, if you're a garment sewer or if you're into manufacturing, they have a lot of things. But of course, they're a brother dealer, and that's how I got to know them. And I've done one of their events before. So anyways, I was talking to Mel, and I told him about my studio, and I was discussing that I have these multi-needle machines I have my 10 needle on a regular old metal frame. And I said, that's all right, but my studio is pretty cute and I use it for a lot of video. And Mel said, hey, have you seen this horn cabinet? And so here it is. And not only that, I'm gonna show you what it is, but he has discounted it. Let's see, I have, this is why I had to bring it on the show because he said just for the fans, cause he knows that you guys always get good deals. Those of you that are looking for a cabinet, he's discounting it half price which is huge if you know how much horn cabinets are. So here is the cabinet. And in the meantime, Katie, if you're listening, in case you missed that, pop back in here so we can tell what the giveaway is. All right, so here is the cabinet. It has wheels, which I insist that everything I have has wheels. So I can move it around, I can put it in the corner. You guys might remember I had this on a, um, a big table, which wasn't really, it just took up a lot of space. So this goes up where I can do my hooping right here. I have drawers under here, so everything is organized. Red. Here we go, more drawers. This is, I don't know if you guys have seen this. This is not, this doesn't come with the cabinet, but this is pretty cool. This is natural colored faces if you're doing photo. This is from brother. All right, so my six needle fit on here, and if you can see the very bottom, oh, hi, Katie. I'll be right, I'll bring you back up here. Thank you for listening. We forgot the most important part and there's little cabinets down here. So I, I bought these little, these little things. Can you see these? Just to put my bobbin thread in. I'm gonna be so organized, it's crazy. Roll over elastic and then all my hoops will go here. So that is the cabinet. And I wanted to point it out because, let me grab my seat, hold on. Okay. <sighs> Because not only does it fit the six needle, it fits the 10 needle and the persona. So I had to flip a coin which one I was going to put on there. But what Mel has offered, just, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that I still had your comment up there, but sorry about that. So what Mel has offered you guys is that, and you can reach him. I'll put the phone number here. It's Mel or Dana. You have to tell him that you're here, um, that you're from Angela Wolf Show if you want this. And the horn cabinet normally goes for, oh gosh, I had it on here. I think it was like close to $2,000, $1,995 or something like that. And he's selling it for $8.99. It's plus shipping, but $8.99. So that's half the price. But he also, for those of you that want, aren't, don't want to spend that much for your multi-needle, the metal frame that you know I have with my 10 needle, he's offering that for $3.99. But just pulled my hair out. You have to tell him that you are there here for Angela Wolf. So that's sewingmachine.com. There's his phone number because they don't have it listed on the website yet. Um, they will soon though. So if you have any questions about that, I will help you, but so organized. <laughs> so I, I see Katie, I'm gonna bring Katie back up here. And then some of you asked about Gabby's paint color. So Gabby, if you're watching, they want to know what color the aqua and pink paints were and what brand, so. While you're searching that, I'm going to bring Katie back up here. One moment here. Hi, Katie. Hello. <laughs> I'm so glad you were still watching. You left and I was like, wait, we forgot the most important part. <laughs> I do. Ooh. The giveaway. Yes. So tell them what you are giving the fans. Now, this is going to be 
um, a two-week giveaway. It's not going to go live until tomorrow, and I will post it on Facebook. I will post it in a newsletter. They're going to share it. There's going to be three parts to this contest, a little bit on Instagram, a little bit on Facebook, and then you know the usual contest link that we always use. And that's because a lot of people aren't on social media, and they'll have a chance to enter as well. So tell them what the grand prize is. Yes, so the grand prize I have right here, um, you will receive, it's a special prize pack from Kai Scissors. So they are always very generous. So that will be mailed out to you. You will also receive a four day pass to the Sewing Stitchery Expo. So admission to the expo each of the four days. And then you get a um, pass to the Friday Night Live. So that's Angela Wolf's Friday Night Live, Friday Night of Expo. Um, so that will be well over close to $200 um, dollars in value. And then you can invite a friend to come along and have them um, go online and get their ticket as well. What an awesome giveaway. So you guys have to give them the hearts on this one because this is fantastic. I said, we have got to have a good giveaway and this is even better than I thought. <laughs> And then, of course, you get the surprise Kai Scissors uh, bag, which is yeah. awesome, too. So I'm going to uh, fill them in tomorrow on how, well, I'll tell them a little bit now. So what's going to happen is if it's just like the last three contests that I did, where if you're only on Instagram, you'll have an opportunity to enter there. If you're only on Facebook, in the comment section, you'll be able to enter there. Those are extra entries. The main contest will be the link that we always have. It's a page that I share. Uh, they'll be sharing. You go in, you fill out a little bit of information. Don't worry, we don't share it. it. We just need your email in case you win. We'd hate for you to not get your prize. And that way it doesn't automatic random because I'm over writing everybody's name down and ripping it up and putting it into a basket. Unless you want to do that, Katie. Did you want to do that? Because usually there's like thousands of people that enter. <laughs> I'm sure you have time for that. <laughs> yeah, so... So anyways, this will be up tomorrow and I will share links with you. So Katie, thank you for that awesome prize and thank you for coming back on. I thought, oh goodness, you you missed the best part. <laughs> well, thank you, Angela. All right, thanks. thanks. See you. Okay, so we got the contest. That was like, that was the best part of the whole show and how did I forget? I don't know. <laughs> okay, great prize if only I live closer. I know, Tracy, next time we need like first class flights there, right? We'll work on that. <laughs> okay, so I see a ton of you asking questions. I'll go through and ask. Um, the last thing I want to show you today, though, is about the pants. So if you missed anything today on the show, this is Mel's number. If you want anything to do with the horn cabinet for the brother, I think it also fits the baby lock uh, machines for the 10 needle, but great family. They have a lot of good deals. And if you tell me Angela Wolf sent you, I'm sure they'll give you a deal on Probably anything that you ask for. I hope so, Mel. Fingers crossed, right? <laughs> Dana's going to call me and go, what? <laughs> so anyways, and they're in Atlanta. So if you're in Atlanta, be sure to stop by that store. So uh, by the way, those of you that went on vacation for Christmas and the holidays, I just have to ask you something. I'm not sure if gas prices go below $2 again, I will ever drive anywhere. <laughs> when, how long did it take us to get through Atlanta? Oh my gosh, like the whole day. It's a 23 hour drive anyways. We wanted to drive so we had more flexibility. Plus I had a lot of projects to work on. So we had, I had the dream machine in the car. I had computer monitors. I, we had like this much luggage for our actual possessions because it was all work stuff. And then you can't take that on the boat. <laughs> so that one, and it all came back in the car. So all I could think of was, if we break down, this is going to be so embarrassing because you would never get to where the, like, I think they put all the stuff so you can change a tire somewhere under there. Next time we should put it on the top, right? <laughs> Anything else funny happened on our trip win? Yeah. No, not, oh, I have something funny for you. I should have had my thread cutters. Yes, I should have had, my, I had my thread cutters. I just didn't bring it on the boat. It was at the, back at the place so I could check out my thumb. Can you see that? That is what you call a blister from doing something really stupid. I caught a sailfish. We entered a tournament last weekend, and it was uh, in Key Largo. It was actually a tournament for a really good cause. I can't even tell you the story because I would be sobbing, but it was about a girl named Holly. You can look it up yourself and read it, but it was a very tragic story. Something, I can't even say it without even telling you the story. Something similar happened to a good friend of ours here. So the... Money for the tournament went to um, 
domestic violence. That's all I can say. I can't even get the story out. It was awful. But anyways, the tournament was in her name. So we fished it, just Wynn and I. Okay, T, hold on, breathe. I hate sad stories. But anyways, as a nice ending, they have this tournament in her name. She was only 20 something. Do you remember how old she is? 23, 23 or 24, very young. So to the positive part of the story, we fished the tournament, sailfish tournament, just Wynn and I on the boat. And I reeled in most of the fish, but somebody left bananas on our boat is all I can say because <laughs> we get out there and our radio doesn't work and you have to call in when you catch a sailfish. So the radio's not working. We have every channel except for the tournament channel. So Wynn decides to pull off the screws and undo the front and then our engine went out. Of course, it was just one wire, but if you saw the massive wires, I should have taken a photo. I probably did, I'll share it with you. And so then we lost an engine and then we lost the other engine. So we do have a little kicker. <laughs> And I said, of course, we're going to catch a fish right now. But well, we did. We were two for six. So we were a little rusty. But this is from a sailfish that I released. And then you, I went to cut the leader and just missed the leader. I touched the leader, which is called a release. And then you want to cut the fish down as close as you can get. But I'm the one that has to touch the leader. Usually you have a whole crew. And it's like, I reel in, grab the leader, and then cut. Right? Well, I missed just a little bit. So then when the fish went to... <laughs> Stop, I put my hand on the reel and he decided to jump. Let's just say this is already a week from healing and uh, it's pretty nasty. So note to self, thread cutters, I need them on every finger. <laughs> All right, um, I have a couple funnies for you guys uh, before I let you go. And I wanna show you the waste thing. So let me bring this back up here. Here's your funnies for the day. <laughs> uh oh, bananas. Yeah, Patty, it was bananas. Hi, Marion. I know. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Barbara. Hey, my, Barbara says she lives in Atlanta. The traffic was terrible. OK, so let me just show you what I found, because you guys are going to laugh really hard. First off, here is the website for SwainMachine.com. In case you need that, SwainMachine.com. I have these all saved, so it would come up quickly. OK, Wynn hasn't seen this yet, and he's here, so he's going to just cry laughing. I'm not making. OK, just so you know. We all have our own taste, so I'm not making fun of any designers. I'm just expressing the fact that I could not see Wynn wearing this in a million years. But I think you guys would appreciate this, that maybe we should get this for him for his birthday next year. So are you ready? So I get women's wear daily every, let's see if I can make sure I bring the right screen up here. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm gonna make myself smaller here. So check this out. Can you see this outfit? You can come over and look, Lynn. So first off, this was the best show. Okay, designer Craig Green. Uh, this actually looks like a fishing net. So if I wore this, Wynn possibly could throw me in the water <laughs> to catch our bait. What do you think, Wynn? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Wynn is laughing. But um, yeah, but I mean, like, seriously, though, do you know how much work went into this? This is macrame. It was crochet. It's gorgeous. I just I just had to laugh because I thought, can you imagine Wynn wearing this? So, Wynn, you could use this to catch bait, couldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else do we have? This is the one that took the cake. Wynn, here is your new... All my fishing friends that are watching, here is your new rain suit for the year. I think that this would be fantastic on the water. <laughs> Here, I'll bring this up close. Hold on. Now, I'm not making fun if any of you guys have this. So just so you know, but you have to understand, my husband is a little bit conservative. And um, a lot of the fishing guys I know, uh, I think they're going to appreciate this. So this is going to be your new wetsuits for the year. Your new rain gear on the boat for the wind and angel. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> Oh, gosh, everybody's laughing. So for those of you that are listening to this as a podcast, I'm sorry you can't see this, but just picture a lot of color. It's a lot of plastic because it's rain gear, obviously, but we've got blue, lime, yellow, pink, red, and green. And I'm, I still haven't figured out what exactly f the fabric is. It looks almost like all right, you guys can help me out that are watching this live. Give me some terms of what you would call this fabric. It's, I don't know. 
I know. <laughs> Patty just said, what are they made from? That's what I'm wondering, Patty. What are they made from? Hey, Michelle says I could rock the pink. Actually, I like the pink. I could definitely rock the pink. <laughs> okay, you guys, any... <laughs> You guys are hilarious. <laughs> um, uh, okay, guys, th those of you who are listening, I can't even explain what the fabric is. It's kind of a plastic. I think I actually have a fabric like this that I purchased years ago. I don't even know what it was for. Probably something fun. Bubble wrap. <laughs> Sandy says it looks like bubble wrap. Judy says it's bubble wrap. Actually, it does look like bubble wrap. That's the... That it, when come look at this. Tell me if you think. Could you imagine if this was out of bubble wrap? <laughs> It'd be like pop, <laughs> pop, pop. <laughs> oh my gosh! You thought that the fabric that my <laughs> my nephews used that they were rubbing up and down the sequin fabric. Can you imagine if this is bubble wrap? <laughs> Kids would love this. What a great idea! <laughs> Easter basket cellophane, Patty. Bingo! Patty gets the best term so far. That is exactly what it looks like. <laughs> Colored trash bags we have. So those of you listening, we're helping you out here. <laughs> Celeste says, no, no, no one rocks the pink. Oh, you guys are hilarious. I know. So I had to give you the laugh for the day. All right. So what else do I have here? I have in the group, I want to bring up a couple things that I, we've been, um, well, while I was traveling, I kind of took a little bit of reprieve from social media for a few days. So if you thought I fell off the earth, I didn't. I just fell off land which was very enjoyable for a few days, but I'm happy to be back. And uh, I uh, thank you guys for joining me at the pool last week. So Susan, I was listening to your post on here. Those of you that don't know Susan Fisher, she's on here quite often. She's one of, um, let's see, they said that you are a visual storyteller. Facebook nominated you for that. I agree. She always has cool stuff on here. So Susan said she actually had to do alterations yesterday on corduroy pants. So Wynn wants to know, Susan, can he send you his pants? Because we're going to Vegas to VDTA and he bought some new pants for spring or whatever. And um, I said, I think they might be too long. And I thought exactly what you said, Susan. If we throw them in the wash, I wonder if they'll shrink. But they're dry clean only. So I don't know. Wynn. Last year, he has two pairs of pants that never got hemmed. So, Susan, when is coming to see you? Ask Steve if that's okay. <laughs> All right. So, there was a couple other cool things in the group. Uh, Jen, McCart Jen McNally. Sorry, Jen. I, for some reason, I was thinking McCarthy. <laughs> New Year's Eve. She said she's not big into embroidery, but I pushed her into it. Okay, so as long as you don't have any scars, we're good. <laughs> that embroidery on your pockets is amazing. I love it. It's fun. You did a great job. I love the jeans. I love the top stitching. Awesome job. So kudos to you. I had to bring that up and show you. What else do we have? Oh, so Melody said the seam ripper. How cool is that? So for those of you that ordered uh, some things right before Christmas, uh, Kai Scissors sent me a batch of these seam rippers. And, well, they're, they just, they rip. They're awesome. I don't have one right in front of me or I would pull it out for you. But I will bring it in on next week and show you. So, uh, but anyways, so each day when we had orders, we would just randomly pick names and these went to. So it wasn't specific to any specific person. Um, if you did order $50 or more, you got one. But then everybody else, we just did random. So, Enjoy it. It's a seam ripper. It's a gift from Kai Scissors. We still have more, so we do random picks each day when we do shipping. So uh, that was kind of cool. I <laughs> I think that's pretty fun. And um, Sandy says <laughs> that she did it. She did the plunge. She's joining Rob, Joe, and VIP in Puyallup. Good job on getting the VIP ticket, Sandy, because I know that they're selling out quick. So now she needs vacation days from work. So don't lose your job. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to seeing you. And then um, this was hilarious. Sandy, you always have the funniest thing. Lucky. <laughs> so anyways, you guys had a ton of stuff on here. Uh, yes. Debbie wanted to know, will my patterns be for sale at the Expo in Puyallup? Yes, they will. I will be at the Kai Scissors booth. I will have patterns. I should have one of my new products that's coming out that I can't quite tell you about yet, but it's it should be there. That's all I can tell you about that part. <laughs> so um, let's see. I thought there was another. Oh, yeah. Here's Susan. Susan, here's your photo. This is the photo I'm ending for the day for the group. 
Susan has all of her cutting mats up, which were just so much fun. And they fit your dining room table perfectly, by the way. You measured that perfectly. And then her cat, of course. Of course, her cat. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. If you didn't see those mats, um, I can get you a link for that, for the DIY style. The discount's over, but um, you never know if you punch in the code and then put Angela Wolf <laughs> and ask for free magnets. She might just give it to you. You never know. Sometimes bribery works, right? So uh, let's see. I think that was, yeah. <laughs> Oh, goodness. That was a funny show. Uh, what group are you showing? Tina, that is the Angela Wolf Patterns group. So if you go to Facebook, let's see. I'll post a link. But it's basically facebook.com groups forward slash Angela Wolf Patterns. So just see if I can copy and paste that in here. Angela Wolf Patterns is the... If you can remember that, pop in. You do have to answer a question to be accepted into the group. It's free to join, uh, but you have to answer the question because we try to keep out spammers. As we had last week, as you guys know, <laughs> out of there, no problem. That's Mel's number if you need it. And let me show you the pant waistband and then I'm out of here. But I see a couple questions. Uh, Mildred said she's late today. <laughs> well, you have a good reason. She said she's late because she's watching my surgery class on Craftsy. Thank you for watching that. Yeah, so Craftsy turned into Blueprint now. Did you know that? I just got notified on that. I also saw that they changed their patterns around. I mentioned that they cut out a lot of people, which I felt bad because some people really relied on that. But um, I guess they were testing patterns. Hey, guys, we passed. Our patterns are in there still. But um, they changed their website. It looks pretty good. So I'll we'll see what happens. You always have to be open to some change. You can't be the same always, right? All right. Oh, Pam says, yay, patterns in Puyallup. Yes, they'll be there. Of course, there'll be a discount too. Will the map people be going there? Uh, I'll find out for you, Pam, because I will be talking to her on Friday. So I will let you know, and I'll leave a message in the group. Leslie said, just type it, and it comes up. Yes, it does. Hi, Carrie. Great to see you. <laughs> I, I'm going to go back through. <laughs> Celeste says that if you like to hem your pants, you should try uh, seam tape, ironing it on. Staples. He's laughing. He said staples are easier, Celeste. He'll do staples. <laughs> Barbara said she's always looking for a great seam ripper. Um, yes, Sarah, I will see you at VDTA. That will be fun. A couple fun and exciting things happen at VDTA this year. I'm very excited about that. I um I also have, so just so you guys know, the next few shows, just for the schedule, I will see some of you next Thursday in Palm Beach at Laura's Sewing. If you'd like to join, just Google Laura's Sewing, call them. Uh, the tickets are not very expensive. There's a morning uh, lecture and an afternoon lecture, and I will be there for the whole day on Thursday. I'm flying in Wednesday, so of course our Wednesday show is going to have to be a different time. I will keep you posted on when it's going to be. Or I might just surprise you and post something for It's So Easy. So a couple of things. Those of you that are not on my YouTube channel, be sure to go to YouTube because I will be launching another watch party this afternoon. Now, you're not going to watch this afternoon. You just save it to watch it. So you guys vote right now. You can have the watch where we watched another episode of It's So Easy. Do you want to watch it on Saturday afternoon or do you want to watch it on Sunday afternoon? It's totally your choice. Leave your opinion, and then I will pick one, and that's what I will launch. for. That was really fun for the watch. What you do, you don't. it's free. You just go in, and you can hang out, make comments beforehand, and then we all watch it together. Some of you even asked me questions at the last show, and I'm watching it with you, although it's not like this, but it's, it's a fun thing to do, something new, right? So that's on YouTube. If you go to AngelaWolf.com, if you go to the right side, YouTube's right there. So that's YouTube. That's coming up. Next Wednesday, the show will not be here. And I will let you know what time it will be. But for the next two weeks, I will be traveling. Let me make sure I have that right. Okay. I want to make sure I have the right dates for you. Yes. Next Wednesday, I will be traveling. And the Wednesday after, I will be traveling. Because I'm going to Florida. And then I'm going to work on something fun with brother at FIT in New York, which will be very fun. So I'm, I'm actually going to be at FIT that Wednesday. Now, we should just tell all the students that we should um, go live for the Facebook Live. That would be kind of fun. But I just keep attention to Facebook. I promise I will send out a newsletter with when the shows will be. You won't miss a thing. I won't go live without you. Um, 
Also, the next Soe News Live show is next Tuesday, the 15th. So I won't be here Wednesday, but I'll be here Tuesday. And that is the first show for the first show, Soe News Live, sponsored by Brother for 2019. So I, Joanne might join us. I haven't heard back from her, but she has her new project she wants to talk about. And I'm going to give you the rundown for the whole next few months on who's coming on the Soe News Live show. So you won't miss a thing. And if you have questions, be sure to bring them in, right? I think that's about it. Um, yeah, I just noticed that there's a lot of Wednesdays that I'm traveling. So we're going to have to just work around it, right? Darn it, that travel schedule. But I won't miss you guys. So I see um, some of you saying a couple questions here. I'll just make sure I don't, I'm not missing anything. Yeah, I know, Don. That will be cool. <laughs> I don't know how you keep up with what you do. Lita, I don't either. But that little vacation last week was really nice. <laughs> okay, you guys are voting. Saturday afternoon. What time on Tuesday? Oh, Lynn. Okay, Tuesday for the Sewing News Live. That is at noon Eastern Standard Time. 12 o'clock Tuesday Eastern Standard Time. You can always catch it later, too. If you want to watch this show again, save it to your page. All right, let me show you the waistband alteration, and then I will let you guys go. Everyone's saying safe travels. I know. I will miss you guys, too. Marta, Tuesday noon Eastern Standard Time. That's the 15th. So, And I'll still pop in live each week. It's just going to be different days. So, Now, for your lesson of the day, got to give you something, right? Some of you wrote in after I did all of the alterations on jeans last week at the pool. They said, I have a gaping, wa a gaping waistband in the back. Do I alter the yoke? Do I add darts everywhere? Where do I add darts? So for those of you that want to learn how to fix a gaping waistband, this is your very quick four-minute tutorial. Very easy. Ready? Here we go. Can you see that okay? All right. So here is, now if you're using my pattern, you will notice that your waistband is curved. That is definitely a plus. Not just because it's my pattern, but because a curved waistband will wrap around your body better. And then you have your yoke. All right, so let's see. Uh, and then you have your jean. So here's your pattern pieces, okay? Can you see that? Give me like an emoji, say hi, say uh, yes, something. There you go. Okay, so if you have a gaping waistband, you're going to pin in your pants. And I'm going to bring you back up here. <laughs> Robin. <laughs> The dart queen. I love that. Thank you. Okay, so I'm not wearing my jeans today. In fact, I'm wearing a big pair of jeans. Not on purpose, but they're they're gaping. Probably because I've been sitting and standing all day. So you're going to take in your waistband. Can you see that? So if you have to pin this on yourself, you're going to pin it right in the center. That just tells you how much you need to take in. Once you have that measurement, so let's just say you have to take in your waist two inches. That'd be a lot. Just make sure that when you take in these gap, gaping waistband, that if you have to take it in all the way down the center back, that's way different than just taking in in the gapping. So the gapping is if you have a really narrow waist, a bigger tush, a perfect figure, you know what I mean, and you just have a little bit of extra room in your waistband. So this is what's happening. What you will do, you would probably pin in a dart like this into your yoke. If it goes all the way into your pant area, that's... You want to try not to do that. Try to keep it to the yoke. After you pin that in, you're going to obviously pin in the same part of your waistband because this is all attached. So you would have, let's say, if you did the center back, just even this out on two sides. This would be your other yoke. Boy, this really is beautiful artwork, isn't it? Sure glad you guys know my language. All right, there's your pants. So this is a pin. This is a pin. You would have pinned this on your waistband. Here's your center back seam. When you're finished, what you'll do is you're going to cut. You'll cut out this. Okay, let's see if I can fold this. Look, look what happened when I fold that in on this pattern piece. It completely changes the angle of your yoke. It also changes the angle of your waistband. So instead, what instead of something straight like this, like this, you would have something that would be more like that. See the curve? And this would be a little bit narrower than this one. So from this measurement from here, this is your yoke, would 
your new one would be curved and it would be less. Try to keep your pant leg the same if you can, if this is just for a gapping waistband. And then your waistband would now, instead of being curved like this, would probably be curved more like this. Okay, that is your four minute waistband. I have something, I don't know if it's on YouTube or something. I'll see if I can search it. If one of you guys find it, leave a link here. I don't know if it, remember if it was on the blog or on YouTube, but I have a really detailed one, but that is the short of it. The specific question that they asked was, hey, um, if I have to do that, do I have to do it, take in the darts in the waistband as well? Yes, but you don't have to have darts in your waistband unless you're all trained ready to wear. That's a whole different thing. And I do have classes on Craftsy that cover alterations, even though Wynn has to use staples to hem his pants. I'll teach you how to do your alteration. Hey, that's a great idea. Let's tell Wynn to watch my Craftsy class and he can hem his pants. No, are you kidding? He does so much for me. I promise, guys, I'll hem his pants or I'll send him up to Susan. I think you're only a couple hours away, right? <laughs> All right. You guys said gotcha, gotcha. Good, good. All right. Well, let's see. Um... Oh, Anne, I'm sorry you're going to miss. Yeah, they um, they changed it from Port St. Lucie to Palm Beach, so I'm sorry you can't make it. And I, I hope you do well on your eye surgery. Let's see. Sunday, everyone says Sunday's my choice. I see a lot of Sundays. I see a lot of Saturdays. Well, I promise for the YouTube watch, I'll pick something. So if you guys have any questions, throw it in right now. Otherwise, I will let you guys go. It was fun hanging out with you today. I have a lot of projects. I actually had to move out all the machines away from here because I'm working on something that I can't quite share with you yet, but I will soon. So in case you got a sneak peek of it, making sure. Um, Pat says, I missed the first half this hour. What was the blue fabric on the table behind you? Oh, <laughs> you guys always spot the funniest things here. <laughs> That's my favorite fabric. It's on the website. It's a blue crepe. This is what I'm working on right now. So I can show you the fabric. I just can't show you the project. So hold on a sec. This fabric is a blue crepe knit. It doesn't wrinkle. It's a little heavier. You can do pants. You can do a shirt. Um, it's my absolute favorite. I actually saved an entire bolt for myself because it's dark navy, which is a great color on me. I think <laughs> and I mean you I have already have three shirts out of this a pair of pants and oh a skirt I roll it in my suitcase and it, it rolls up so small and you pull it out and no wrinkles so this is a um, crepe knit so if you go to Angela Wolf patterns it's on there uh, in a few different colors so there's a little bit of navy left but I'm saving this bolt for myself thank you for asking by the way oh yeah Okay, you guys probably want a discount if you want the fabric. Let's see, what should we do today? How about, well, New Year? All right, here will be the discount code for the next two weeks while I'm traveling. New Year 15. I don't have my glasses on, but I think that says... Oh yeah, New Year 15. I better I better write it down so I don't forget. New Year 15. If there's anything you want on angelofpatterns.com. That's your discount code for the next 2 weeks. All right guys, so the contest is going up tomorrow. Um it's basically a giveaway to Puyallup, which would be fantastic. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. I see I see you I watched your questions roll through as I'm saying that. Patty says, love Navy. Pat says, people ask if I own any top that aren't blue. <laughs> you know, that's funny because I mine's always black. It's usually, I love black, the color black. But then I love green, as uh, <laughs> Janice knows, because I put this. Janet said, what's your favorite color? Nice and green, black, anything like that. So I this is where my cup is right now. I don't have my size matters cup. It's in the dishwasher. I saw somebody ask, where's your size matters cup? I know that is pretty funny though. These all these cups look huge on the show though. I don't know if it's because it's close to the camera. So I guess that's a secret. Stand further from the camera and you'll look smaller, right? Uh, Patty wants to know is it heavy enough for a dress? Yes, it is. It's um 
I don't know. It's, it's heavier than the shirt I'm wearing. Um, I don't really know how to describe it. I mean, the drape is just gorgeous. I, I don't find this very often. I found this a few months ago, and I bought quite a few bolts of it um, because it's hard to find. It doesn't wrinkle. You, you don't need lining. You can't see through it. Wash and dry, definitely. Um, it does have polyester in it. But it's not the hot polyester. I mean, ITY knits sometimes are just too hot for in Florida. This one's fine. So it it's not breathable, but it breathes better. <laughs> Let's go with that. So, um, all right, you guys, by the way, keep an eye on your newsletter because I have a couple of things popping in from a few vendors that are offering specials for you guys. I have a few other things that are in the works that as soon as it finishes, I'll send the newsletter. Uh, or if you're in the group, I'll post it there. So if you don't have any more questions, you guys have a great day. Lynn says hi. Whoever wants to come and hem his pants, come on up. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. You know I'm going to hem them. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Uh, it's still snowing here, so stay out of the snow. And those of you that live in Atlanta, good luck on your traffic. <laughs> if you guys have any questions or you need links for any of this, just let me know. And I've got lots coming for you, so keep your eye on your email box. Bye, you guys. Have a great day. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, those of you that are gone, no worries. I saw, okay, I see a couple of your questions rolling in about the fabric. So those of you that are gone, see ya. What's it made of? Marcy wants to know. The fabric is made of, um, 95% polyester and 5% lycra. So, hope that helps. Um, would the cloth be good for yoga pants? Yeah, no. It's too dressy, too dressy for yoga pants. I do have a fabric that's coming, though, that you might like for yoga pants. Um, <laughs> I'm laughing because when you travel, you wear whatever, right? So I'm wearing my yoga pants. But there are a lot of very colorful yoga pants out there. In fact, they're quite eye catchers sometimes. That's all I'm going to say. Win and I had a couple of really good laughs. <laughs> hey, Jackie, thank you for the safe travels, and God bless you, too. Uh, Katie says, thanks everyone for watching. Okay, so Patty wants to know, how is it for attracting dog hair? Hmm. You know, I don't have a cat anymore, but this one wouldn't be the type that it would be clingy. So I think you'd be okay. If you want, I can send you a little piece. Well, <laughs> hey, Wynn. I've got someone here. Patty wants to know what this fabric would be like with animal hair. So why don't you go get us a kitty and then we'll test it out for a few days. <laughs> He's not answering. <laughs> Patty, I like the way you're thinking though. <laughs> I know, I agree. So uh, Patty, I don't know. I can't tell you about the, the dog hair, but if I get a chance to, I will let you know. <laughs> Everyone's saying hi to you, Win. You're welcome, Patty. Happy Wednesday to you, Pat. Does it tell you the info on the cardboard from who it makes? No. Uh, Cindy, no, it doesn't. I don't have, because um, I bought this in wholesale, and I bought so many bolts of it, it didn't have, like, the design or anything like that. Just the content. Oh, Jane, thanks so much for watching. Rose says, they, you guys are so sweet. Thank you. I do hope for safe travels. A lot of very exciting things happening, but as long as I still get to hang out with you guys every week. Um, Tracy wants to know the fabric is an ITY. It is listed as ITY, but it's not the same as the ITY knit that you see. Oh, okay, hold on a sec. It's not the same as this one. This is really thin. This is an ITY knit. So it's just a little bit thicker. It's the only way I can describe it. Um, just trying to think of what I have that I could compare it to. I had enough hard enough time with the bubble wrap. <laughs> um, hmm. It's just a little bit thicker. That's all I can say. It is, I think on the label when I got it, it must have said ITY on it somewhere. It just doesn't feel like a typical ITY knit. It's couture. I, well, let's see, couture crepe or designer crepe or something like that. 
So thank you for looking. Melody, sometimes they just don't look in the mirror before going out. Yeah, well, or myself. You guys will laugh. So on the way down there, I was wearing, um, or on the way back, I don't remember. It was a long drive. But I had sweatpants on because it's comfortable in the car. But they're not really sweatpants. They're like, you know, athletic wear. And I was wearing my slippers because it's cold in the car, you know, on your feet. <laughs> and then a tank top and a fleece jacket or something like that. And I got out at one of the rest areas to go to the bathroom. And Wynn doesn't say anything. He's always so nice. He just kind of looked and I kept noticing he's looking at my feet. Yeah, I went in there with my slippers on. And my hair is all up in a bun. And I probably just woke up because we left at like 3 in the morning. So, yeah, I have to say that I probably fit the image too. I probably would have been better off with those colorful leggings that we're talking about. <laughs> at least it would have fit the image with the slippers, right? <laughs> so if you saw me and you thought, gosh, that sure looks like Angela Wolf, but she would never go out like that. Oh, yes, she would. Only on trips, though. Um, Pam, two or four away stretch. Well, you guys are getting pretty good here. All right, two-way, two-way stretch. Um, yes, dark fabrics do pick up. Uh, ITY, <laughs> Stacy, you knew <laughs> that's cute. ITY is a brand. It's just a certain weave of fabrics, but ITY, you'll see it a lot of times with knits. A lot of them are prints. Good quality, I would say. Oh, thanks, Tracy, you answered that. Uh, Betty joined in late. Well, Betty, you, uh, we're just about off the show, so I hate to say this, but as soon as I'm off, you can go back and watch the whole show because there's a lot of good information in there, but the, it's designer crepe, ITY knit. Oh, wait, Bonnie says, I ran into my boss one time, and she had thrown wild lycra pants on, couldn't get the image out of my head. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, you guys are hilarious. Oh, Patty says, yes, that's when you see thousands of people. Isn't that the truth? That's always when you run into somebody. Whatever day you put no makeup on, you don't even shower, you're cleaning the house, and you think you're going to run to the grocery store, that's when you run into everyone, even people you haven't seen in ages. And they all recognize you, too, even if you put your head down. All right, guys, I got to go. Have a wonderful day. Take care, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.